Hello guys, my name is Vikram. Today I am going to show you how to implement the slowly changing dimensions in Talent or Jasper Ikea. Slowly changing dimensions are basically attributes of a dimension table which may tend to change over a period of time. So there are uh, three types of slowly changing dimensions type 1, type 2 and type 3. In this uh, video we are going to cover type 1 for type 2 and type 3 we will keep a separate video so type 1 soul changing dimensions are those kind of attributes whose value tend to change over time and we do not keep a history of those changes it means that whenever a new value come for a same key uh, then we override the new value to the old value so let's say uh, for example, I've taken a, a sample table here, which, which has a first name, last name, marital status, and city. Now, if now uh, for the subsequent loads, let's say for, we receive a different value in a first name or a last name column uh, for the same ID, then it's going to update this table value uh, with the same surrogate key. So it's not going to create a new record for type 1 slowly changing dimensions. Let's start and create a talent job to implement a slowly changing dimension type 1. So first of all, we need to create a connection to the database where the dimension table is there. Then we'll have to give a path of input file which will contain the delta records which will be coming every day. And then to implement SCV, we'll drag the MySQL SCD component or better will drag the existing schema component to our door designer for SCD type 1 table that I've just shown you and select as the MySQL SCD right click go play job and now we have the log row Now, right click, go to settings, use the instant connection, and then when you open a SCD editor, this SCD editor gives you a lot of information. First of all, it will give you all unused column and uh, that has that has not been implemented for SCD. So, first of all, which is the uh, ID column, which is a column which will identify every record is an ID column. We'll keep it as in the source keys. We are going to implement type 1 field for first name and last name. So we'll keep it in a type 1 field. As of now, we are not going to implement any SCD for city and marital status. We'll keep it as type 0. Our column is SK. Uh, Surrogate key 1. So we'll give this name here. Click on OK. Now, what we'll do is, if you see our database table, first name is Thomas and the last name is Co. We'll, in subsequent file, we'll change it to, for same ID, we'll change it to Thomas and Co. New and Co. and Co. New. We'll keep the letter state the same and city same. And let's run this job. Okay. Now see how it has changed our database. You can see that it has uh, updated the ah. current row with the new values. With the new values. So uh, the old values have been written with the new ones without including a new record in a table. So this is how we implement the SCD type 1. In the subsequent videos, I'll show you how to implement SCD type 2 and SCD type 3.